So you've got all of these artworks laying around and you're looking for somewhere to store them. Well, in this video, we're gonna take a look at all of your storage options so you keep all of those artworks that you worked so hard to create nice, safe, and secure. Hello there everyone, Matt here with TheVirtualInstructor.com and in this video we're going to take a look at several options for storing your artwork. Of course, storing your art is incredibly important. You want to protect it from the elements and all the other things that could work against it to mar it and destroy it and of course none of us want those things to happen. So we're going to cover a few of your options in this video. But before we do, I want to remind you if you're new to the channel or if you haven't done so yet, go ahead and click that subscribe button and also click on that notification bell so you're notified every time we upload a new video. And we have a membership program at thevirtualinstructor.com, which includes a variety of drawing and painting courses. If you want to just check out a little bit about what our course is about, there's a link below this video in the description where you can check out three of our course videos and eBooks for free. All right, with that being said, let's go ahead and talk about some of your options for storing your artwork. So why should you care about storing your art? Well, you want to make sure that you're storing your art properly because it can get damaged. Now, this may seem obvious, but we should cover it here, of course. There are lots of things that could damage your artwork. Moving things around, of course, could damage artwork. It could cause you to have to go back and make fixes later after you've finished your artwork. You don't want to have to be dealing with any of that stuff. And there's also environmental elements such as UV light, moisture, dust, and other contaminants. So it's important to protect your artwork from these things so that it doesn't get damaged. Now, me personally, I have artworks laying around the studio at any point in time mainly because I have lots of projects going on at one time, but typically these artworks just hang out in my studio, sometimes in the floor, sometimes against walls, all over the place. But then when I'm ready to store my artwork, I need to find a place to store it properly, and there are several options. Now, the way you store your artwork greatly depends on the medium that you used and the surface in which the art was created on. You wouldn't store an oil painting created on canvas in the same way that you would store a pen and ink drawing on paper, for example. In this video, we're gonna be covering storing drawings mainly. So we're not gonna be talking about storing oil paintings on canvas, for example. The first thing you wanna do is make sure that the art that you're storing is clean. So break out that eraser and clean up your art before storing it. Some folks also like to fix their art with a spray fix or any other type of fixative. You can use a final fixative if you're completely finished with your art or a workable fixative if you may wanna come back and work on it later. While some people like to use a fixative, I personally don't use a fixative. Again, this is a personal choice. I find that fixative can make the values a little bit darker, so it's changing actually the artwork just slightly. All right, all right. Now to the storage options. The first storage option is probably the best option, and that of course is framing your art. This is the best option for protection and preserving your art. I have a lot of my artwork framed and obviously stored on the walls. Framing is great, but it can get expensive and you'll run out of storage space fairly quickly too. So let's look at a more practical option, portfolios. Portfolios are manufactured in a variety of sizes. Most manufactured portfolios are also made of archival materials. So you can rest assured that your art won't be destroyed by the way you're storing it. Manufactured portfolios are fairly inexpensive, but you can always make your own too. Two large pieces of cardboard and some tape equals portfolio. But these materials obviously aren't archival and are best suited for temporary portfolios or temporary storage. Portfolios are really best for drawings that aren't dusty or prone to smudging. Colored pencil drawings, pen and ink drawings, watercolor paintings, and graphite drawings are all great candidates for storing away in a portfolio. But other mediums like pastels and charcoal are best stored elsewhere. Which brings me to another option, drawers or flat files. I have a couple of flat files in the studio, and this is where I store the artworks made with media that is prone to smudging. Each drawer is devoted to a different medium. I have charcoal drawings in one drawer, oil pastel drawings in another, and soft pastels in still another. I typically like to lay down a layer of the artworks face up. On top of each layer, a sheet of acid-free paper is laid on top before another layer of art is carefully laid down. I typically like to use acid-free banner paper, but you could also use other papers that work great as cover sheets, like glassine, which is really the best option since it minimizes any smudging at all. If you do decide to store your artwork in drawers, just make sure that you're using paper that's acid-free as a cover sheet. This will minimize the likelihood of your artwork getting marred by the cover sheets, which 
is something that you definitely don't want to happen. So there you have it, a very quick look at some options for storing your art. I hope that these options will help you out. I hope you'll consider a few of them. I use all of these options myself. I frame my art, I store it in, in drawers, I store art in portfolios, and I even store art in makeshift portfolios, the cardboard type as well, of course, for temporary storage. Now, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you click the like button. And if you haven't done so yet, subscribe to the channel and click on that notification bell so you're notified when new videos are uploaded. If you wanna check out our fantastic membership program. There's a link in the description below. Our membership program includes a variety of drawing and painting courses on a variety of subjects and media, weekly live lessons, weekly critiques as part of the Members Minute, and a year-long curriculum for visual arts teachers. And if you want to just get your feet wet and check out three of our course videos and ebooks for free, I'll leave a link in the description below this video for that as well. Again, thanks so much for watching, and as always, I wish you all the very best in your artistic success.